Hi guys, it's Junior with Go Power Sports. I'm going to talk about our unit tank today and how to install it on three different bikes. So our unit tank comes with some hardware and two different pet tops. You have the unit tank itself and the lid, gas cap. Then you have mounting hardware. And you also have the two different petcock options. So one has a fuel shutoff switch and a filter on it. And one is just a straight metal petcock where if you run this, you're gonna need an inline shutoff valve. So for our three different kits, we have one for the MM80 and it also fits a Coleman RT100. We have the CT200U, which only fits the CT200U. Then we have the MM212 which goes on the Mega Moto 212, and like the Coleman RB200, RT200, the bikes of that frame stock. With our options on petcocks, we have two options. The one with the shutoff switch can be used with the 212 kit. It's kind of hard to reach in there and turn the shutoff valve off, but it can be used. On the other kits, your only option is the straight petcock. So you have to have that for the CT200U, or the MM80. On our mounting holes, we have one back here and one up here. On all of these kits, you're gonna use the rear mounting hole. So to do that, you drill a half inch hole and then you insert the rubber grommet. You insert that into the hole. So the best way that I've found to insert this into the tank is to put it in there, loop it up a little with some oil, Take a screwdriver that fits in there and then push it through. If it will not go through, take your half inch drill bit and hog it out a little. Don't do too much, just do a little bit at a time till it fits. All right, so I'm gonna install the MM80 kit on this RT100. It's got the upper bracket and the lower bracket. The lower bracket can be hard to install on the MM80 because it's got these cutouts that have to go around this bar. If you hold your tongue right, you can get it in there nice and easy, and it'll come out nice and easy. On some bikes, you might have to grind some of this metal away on the bracket, here or here, in order to get it in. But it will go in. So this bracket goes in the bottom. This bracket goes on the top. So the top plate has nuts welded to it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set this on there and line the holes up with the nuts. You're gonna take your bolts that came with this bracket and you're gonna put them in without lock washers first. So now that I have those installed, I'm gonna put about half a turn, maybe a turn on them with a wrench. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna seat this bracket with a mallet by hitting it forward. So to seat this bracket, smack it forward some. That's really gonna lock it in. And now we're gonna tighten it up more. All right, so now that we have the bolts installed without lock washers, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one out at a time and we're gonna try to add the lock washers. Now, adding the lock washers can be tricky and if you can't do it, that's okay. Instead, use Loctite. So, lock washer is now on there. What I'm gonna do is use this wrench with the ratcheting end and I'm gonna push up on the head of the bolt with my finger down here. So I'm pushing up on the bolt to compress that lock washer some as I ratchet the bolt in. And it can be kind of tricky to do, but do not worry about it if you can't get it to go. So now I'm gonna tighten that up all the way. I'm gonna take out the next bolt and rinse and repeat. All right, so now that the bracket is installed, now is when you attach your unit tank. Now I'm not gonna do that now, but I will tell you on this kit, you use the stock hardware that came with the unit tank, being this bolt and washer. On the other kits, you have different tank mounting hardware that comes in the kit with the bracket. So let's go ahead and talk about those now. 
So our Megamoto 212 kit also fits the Coleman bikes with the similar frame styles like this RB200. So on this kit, we're selling the second generation now, which has these rib nuts in the bottom piece and these counter sinks in the top piece. So you mount these by placing your bottom in, just like we did on the MM80, the top on, and you're gonna take these flathead screws, you'll go through the top where it's countersunk, and into the rib nut. When you get ready to install your tank, this kit also comes with some button head screws. These also have that, uh, it's a 3 16 Allen head, and those will attach the tank in this location, that, and here. So now on our CT200 U kit, it comes with two different lengths of bolts. The shorter bolt is going to be what attaches the bracket to the frame. So the shorter bolt goes up through these holes and into the nuts. On this kit, We've included spacers to raise the tank. The reason we have to raise the tank is to get our clearance for the handlebars to have our full turning radius. So now that you've attached your bracket to the frame, you're gonna mount your unit tank. Now to do that, you're gonna take the longer bolt, the lock washer, the flat washer. You're going to go up through the bracket, you're going to add a spacer and then that screws into your unit tank. Okay, so we've talked about our unit tank a little. We've gone over three different kits we have to mount them to different frames. That's what we got for you. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.